Hi, I'm Chris. Welcome to this tutorial on baseline sound design using the new Bevel X hour seat oscillator. In this tutorial, we'll be exploring the capabilities of the seat oscillator and its openness to being modulated. This type of setup is perfect for creating complex and dynamic baseline sounds that can be used in a variety of electronic music genres. First, let's take a look at the basic components of our modular setup here. We have two seat oscillators, both of which can generate a variety of semi-random waveforms, and these oscillators can be tuned to different pitches or simply frequencies. In this configuration, the first oscillator is frequency modulating the second oscillator to generate complex timbres. You can use the dedicated attenuator for the linear FM input to fine-tune the perfect amount of modulation. For a more dynamic sound though, we can put an amplifier between both oscillators and use a third oscillator on a low frequency as an LFO to modulate the amount of modulation. Now let's move on to sound design. The first thing we want to do is set the seeds that generate the waveforms for our oscillators. For bass lines, it's often best to start with a shorter seed as they have less harmonic content to begin with and therefore create a full and rich sound without cluttering the frequency spectrum when being modulated. You can experiment with different seeds to see how they affect the overall character of the sound. Next, let's look at phase modulation. We can use the first seed oscillator to modulate the phase of the second seed oscillator, creating a very complex timbre. Again, you can add motion and depth to the sound by intercepting the modulation signal with an amplifier that is being modulated. Finally, let's move away from pitch and move on to setting frequencies directly to explore interesting ratios between carrier and modulator. Once you've found an interesting ratio, you can try doubling the frequency with the times 2 button or halving the frequency with the divided by 2 button. You can also use the continuous and step multiplier knobs to fine tune the result even further. And of course, you can experiment with different seats, settings and modulation configurations to see how these affect the overall character of the sound. That's it for this tutorial on baseline sound design using the Vivo X Hour Seat Oscillator. I hope you found it helpful and that you are now able to create your own dynamic and complex baseline sounds using this powerful tool. If you want to see more tutorials like this, please like and subscribe. And happy sound designing!